Hello, Benjamin, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Well, we've made quite the progress against the cultists, but not not where I thought we would be. So right now we're in Ashaya. Um, still left off from last episode pretty much exactly where we were. And I decided to look at the cultist screen and see, you know, if we make any progress once we know who the leader is. And it turns out, well, we've made a lot more progress than I thought, but Ashaya is not actually one of the things we need to do here. Um, there's a guy here. 50. Here's the cult. Um, we can finish off this tree just by wiping him out. And I'm okay with that. Uh, we could finish off this tree by wiping this guy out. Let's actually find out who this guy is. Well, the sage in the chair. Okay, we will find rage out. For Evan, and so will the cult. Okay, so life's greatest strategy was that one could know the world and do nothing to change it. A rule that applied to all but Polemon. The wise was the true architect of the war between the Delians and the Peloponnese. The cult's reason for the war was simple, control through chaos. Polemon's was simpler. He wanted wealth and would stroke the fire to the war until every Greek son had died in battle. Isn't he a big old jerk? Okay. Mark this joker. So this is totally the guy we were trying to unveil in the first place. That's great. So now that he's marked, let's see where the hell this guy is. Ah, okay. I was worried he was the leader. He is not. This actually makes this much easier. Okay, so this is the guy we were trying to unveil in the first place. So that's great. So we don't need to take the fort at all. We can just go right past it. So let's fast travel here. Yeah, let's go over here. I mean, being 1.7 kilometers away from us is a little bit longer than I want to be riding a horse. So fast travel, please. And then we will go and murder this guy. Hopefully he's not too well guarded. We have to take down a fort to do it. I'll still do that. But by single-mindedly going for after these cult members, we are almost done with the cults so that we can do right now. There's like five cultists we need to continue our Odyssey to do, and we will totally do that. But yeah, most of the cultists are going to be super dead. Are you shitting me right now? That's hilarious. Go away, dogs. I mean, I guess I could do death arrows here. There. And that made them think about their life choices. Actually, yes, it did. Yes, it did. Alright, great. Let's get out of here. It's a very long way to fall. Alright, so let's go. Half a kilometer away. No big deal. It's like he's in a temple. Inside a temple, I would think maybe, I don't know, maximum maybe like six guards. It's not very big. I mean, you could cram more guards in there if you wanted to. I guess it is kind of, kind of fortified. Let's see how well this goes. All right, but once we're done with the cultists, we can start doing, well, I downloaded all the DLC, so that's done. But the DLC also apparently included some, uh, some new abilities, so when we level up, we will see what that's all about. Of course, I would always, you know, refund all the points and redo the abilities again, but I really prefer not to. I don't know, depends how abilities work after level 50. Like, right now we're 50. If they work like, um... I was gonna say City of Heroes, but I don't know if there's another good analogy there. Uh, most RPGs actually only let you choose like certain abilities, so you can't get everything. Um, and so they will actually block you after a certain level and say, well, okay, you could get all the feats, yes, but there's these specializations no you can do instead. <laughs> Wouldn't that be better and cooler? And usually the answer is, well, of course. Okay. Um, it is broad daylight, which does worry me a little bit. Oh, okay. Let's, uh, let's go down here, and then let Icarus do his thing. Alright, obviously there's a guy there. Okay, he's got two guards with him, it looks like, or at least near him. I guess this whole thing is a fort, isn't it? Along the edges here. Uh, apparently, there's a chest right 
Oh, no chest. Oh, there we go. There's a chest. One more thing right about there. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. Well, this is going to be a little difficult. But n probably less difficult than it was to take out the leader last episode. That's for damn sure. Just want to make sure if there's a back exit here. Back entrance, rather. Doesn't really appear to be. The cultist is definitely in the temple itself. Alright, I shouldn't be too surprised about that. Like, everyone here is marked. It's always good to make sure. We can take our time here. There's no reason to rush. It looks like everyone got marked. Alright, great. Tempted to wait till nighttime. Yeah, let's wait till nighttime. If anything, if nothing else, it'll make it so this is saved. Like right here. And also, you know, bonuses. We like our bonuses. Alright. Very, very careful. We're apparently hunting Athenians. I might be able to just take this guy out. Maybe. Yep, there we go. One down. Okay. We're not technically... I mean, we're right here. I mean, the cultist is right... Right up that way. Uh, we should probably... Okay, first of all, grab this. Whatever the hell that is. Nine hole drachma. Great. Grab this guy and let's shove him off the edge of the cliff. I mean, I'm being a little more circumspect than I usually am, but... I'd prefer if nobody saw him. I don't know if that's going to be good enough. If nobody goes too far out in their patrols, we should be alright. Okay, but we take out, like, the outer edges first. Just to make sure. Okay, there's this dude, who's apparently all alone. Okay, pick her up. Not the torch. Carry the person. There we go. Drop her in the bushes. There you go. Okay. So far, so good. If no one comes up here, we're fine. Right, because the cultist is right through... Well, I was going to say those doors over there, but I guess not. Because they're upstairs, but that's okay. There's these guys we technically don't need to take out. This is the side... Yeah, this is the side temple. Let's go to the side on this side as well. I think if we go from above, it might be better. Okay, he's actually a lot further away than I thought he was. Um, gonna drop. And then... Come off the edge, I think. Oh, no, not what I want to do, come on. Want to do L1. Go down, there we go. And then kick. Yep, instant murder and instant hiding, which is great. Okay, good. Good, good. All good things. Probably should trade over again. There we go. Okay, grab the loot, please. Thank you. Anker's waistband is a giant waste of time. Good to know. Oh, there's totally a guy here. Okay. Hide behind the crappiest table in existence. Okay, she shouldn't see the dead body. Or he. Sorry, I can't tell gender, apparently. Okay, there we go. Carry you. Get you right into the bushes here. No one will ever find you again. At least until you start to smell. Which will take days, so we're fine. I only have one point of adrenaline left. We've been using a lot of adrenaline to murder these guys. So if I want to use my adrenaline on this, 
It looks like the cultist might be by himself here. Oh shit, he saw me. Okay, okay, let's go. The mysterious who dared defy. Oh, you got a dog. My name is or a cat, whatever. I am the one who will end your life. Kill this cat. Oh my god. Fucking. Heal up. This fucking cat, man. There we go. We, we got it. Okay, get rid of a shield. Shield gone. The freaking spears, man. I hate the spear attacks. Because they always go heavy. They always go heavy. Okay, can I lock onto this guy yet? Okay, there we go. He's locked on. Grab the loot. Heal up. He always goes heavy. Every time. Okay, can I just... Oh my god, stop going heavy attacks. I can't hit this joker. Guess I could have blocked that. Okay, we got a little bit of adrenaline back, but he just goes always with the heavy attacks. I just want some adrenaline back, and then hero strike. A little bit of progress. This guy's super strong. Okay, he's gonna go arrows. I don't care about that. Oh my god, stop kicking. Well, at least nobody's coming to his aid. That's something. There we go. That's what I want. Some more of that, please. Wish Hero Strike did more damage on this guy, though. Might it go a little crazy? We haven't heard one for it. What the hell? Let's do it. Okay, that kind of works. Oh, come on. I was blocking that. Can't block that, though. Can't block that. Hate these freaking spear guys. Oh, my gods. Stop with the heavy attacks. I dodged it. I should have been a pause. I should have been a pause in time. Go strike. Using up with a lot of adrenaline, but at this point, I'd rather he was just dead. There we go. Uh, confirm the kill, please. Thank you. It's weird the cat didn't show up. You're done making trouble. Icarus just didn't seem to care about the cat. Alright, so that's it for the cultist. Got the chest here. And of course, all the loot that we possibly can carry. Okay, good to go. We could take out the rest of the fort, I suppose. That was all done in darkness, too, huh? That wasn't exactly the greatest cinematic experience. He's all the way down there. I don't care about him. I mean, I can probably take the rest of the fort, right? You know, there's a captain here. There's cultist guards we can kill. There's Animaga Straka. No tablets. Okay, but the cultist is dead, right? Huzzah. Yes, he is. Okay, so next cultist. We might as well take out this tree here because that looks like that might be the easiest one. I think the rest of these are continue your odyssey, right? Uh, we know who this guy is, so we can totally take out these two guys. This guy's continue the odyssey, though, so we can't take out this tree. Yeah. Yeah, we have to we have to continue our odyssey for this particular guy. But we can take out these two guys. What the hell? We're dead close, too. Okay, we found another clue for the Ghost of Cosmos. That's great. Trolls Athenian politics, okay. This guy's next. Take out this guy. Um, let's see. So fight for Athens on a Shia's battlegrounds. That's right, that's why we wanted this guy too, okay. We need to weaken a Shia. That's why we're here. Which means we might as well go ahead and take out this fourth then. Right, because that'll weaken a Shia. Yeah, okay. So then sure. Let's go ahead and murder. That was a nice finding excuse for murder. Okay. 
Okay, this person might... Yeah, she's sleeping. Okay, let's be careful about this. Let's try not to get spotted. I don't know if we can take this guy out. I don't know if we can take this guy out. We'll... We'll be careful. Hey, Z. Good to see you. Let's take this person out first. One down. And then this guy. We, this might be a fight. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Totally murdered. We're good. Okay, come over here and drop off the body. Great. The same thing for the person who was sleeping. Who now is sleeping forever. All the blood scene's probably like a dead giveaway. But they'll just be curious and oh I can totally see the body there. Uh here, coming over this way and drop the body off. Yeah, it's hard to tell how much these are actually concealed. Hopefully it won't be an issue. It's more like these guys are not going to be seen from a cursory glance, hopefully. Okay, definitely grab the... Okay. Icarus and I have got to apparently have a talk. He did not mark this chest at all. So, Icarus, we're going to have a talk about your performance. I'm going to tell you right now, performance review is not going to be pretty. You're not going to get your daily bonus, or your... Uh, Monthly bonus, whatever the hell it is. You're asleep. I'm almost out of adrenaline, though. Is there anybody we can kill very, very easily to get adrenaline? Like, this guy's... Woke up. I made too much noise landing. Okay. Uh, get over to you. If I can just poke you and you die... Nope. No! Not quite. Not quite. <laughs> Not quite. Okay. Nope. Get away. Well, of course, now everyone's woken up. Well, now we got the own back. Huzzah. She's here. I'm here. You're right. Get rid of your shield. And then hero strike you. Okay. Now it's your turn, sir. Madam. Whatever. Oh, you're distracted by my merge. I couldn't see that. Oh, okay. I can't see that either. Alright. No shields, please. It's just a personal choice, really. Alright, if I want to get some adrenaline back, I should stop using the hero strikes all the time. Okay, somehow they didn't wake up the entire fort. I'm kind of surprised. Take your body and throw you in the bushes here. And maybe just on the safe side, do the same thing for everybody. And there's only the three, right? Shouldn't be too bad. Just pile the bodies in the flower bed. The flowers could totally use the nitrogen. Hey, go away, little vulture. That, that's a dead giveaway. There's dead bodies around. I mean, so is the, you know, giant blood stain and sword just laying about. If this was a Hitman series, um, someone would be clued into us pretty quick here. Fortunately, it's not. Okay. Let's grab this for sure. A crappy combat blade. You can sell that first choice you get. Alright. Well, on the upside, most of our adrenaline's back. Huzzah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Go worship your god. Or go be with your god. Like, right now. There you go. Really, I did her a favor. I mean, she won't ever see it that way, but... Man, these, this is the crappiest loot in existence here. What is the deal with this random number generator just basically wanting to screw us? Hide in the bushes here. Uh, that's not a great hiding spot. Totally, totally going to see your legs, but I want to just be here for a minute. This guy strides heroically throughout the land. What makes him go this way? That's just super weird. Where are you going, buddy? 
don't know if this is going to be good enough of a hiding spot, but maybe if he sees the body, it'll distract him. Hey, look, he's distracted. By death. Turns out death is really distracting. I don't know where I'm going to put your body. How about over here in this giant brown bush? How about that? There you go. All right. Anybody up in the Palisades? There is a dude up there. All right. Let's take him out. Nice and easy. And boop. All right. Uh, we can actually just leave your body here. Like, no one else is up in the Palisades. You're never going to be found. So, what up? Okay, there's... Did we kill the captain already? Let's see what our progress is here. Great. We killed all three captains. We have one more guard to take out. An Anamaga struck us somewhere. And one more treasure. Okay, well, that's obviously the guard over there, right? No big there. But the hell's the other chest? Uh, apparently, right, right around here. Oh, no, that's the Ostraka. All right. And that's apparently a secret passage, which would have been great to know about before, you know, I got into the fort. Couldn't tell you where the other chest is. It's just not apparently available to us right now. Oh, no, there we go. Okay, we already marked it, so there it is. Uh, Alright, so just two simple things to pick up. Uh, the Automatic Shrug is technically closer. Or at least easier to get to. Though, I'm probably never going to actually look this up. I mean a large vat of red dye. Yes, I'm going to tell you that right now. It's not going to happen. Not gonna happen. Oh, this guy's asleep. Well, that's gonna make this dead simple then. Yep, 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 yep. Goodbye. Okay, that should be the last of the guards. He had a rusty sword. The crappiest cultist guard in all of existence. Alright, so then, yep, that was all of the craft cultist guards. Great, so just one more treasure and we're good to go. That was down somewhere. Exactly, I don't remember where. We saw it. I know I saw it. Where'd it go? It was like right... It was like in this building or something. I don't know what it was. Oh, okay. No, there it is. Oh, man. That's, that's actually like underground somewhere. Yeah. You're telling me... Tell me this fort has an underground... Okay, maybe that's part of the secret passage. There could be a well. Like a cave inside the well, maybe. Or, yeah. Like a cave area for the well, maybe? I mean, that could be what the secret entrance is down there. It's not actually like a secret entrance. It's just a straight on... Uh, I mean, this is up in quite the, uh, quite the region here. This is strange. Okay. Oh, alright. I mean, I wouldn't have counted this as part of the fort. Watch there be, like, 70 people in here. I mean, it'd be weird, but this is technically a hole in their defenses, so it would kind of make sense. We should be careful around here just in case. It might not be guarded, but we don't know that for sure. I mean, there's a slave here, but we can't murder him. Give me a pulse. There's some loot, but no bad guy as far as I can tell. It seems weird this chest counts. It just seems odd. Uh, go ahead and slide through. Why? What? I'm usually able to slide right through these. What the hell? There we go. Okay, great. I mean, really, this looks like an ancient chest. This is um, part of some larger fort thing. Never seen a chest like this before. Sure, go and loot it. Wow, that was 
not as cool as I was expecting it to be. I thought maybe there'd be a weapon inside or something excellent, but nope. So much for the freaking ancient civilization. Okay, that should be the last one, though, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, great. So that's marked. Though, Ashaya still seems to be very well fortified. All right, we got to take out these forts, and we got to take, like, this one out. Military shipyards got to go. We just spent all of last episode trying to do this. We got to knock out. We got to knock out other stuff before we take on that fort again. I'm just not ready, like, mentally for this. Uh, so let's go for the... This is kind of the nearest question mark here. We'll go here. We got to weaken a child so we can fight for him. Let's get out of here. Who knows where the hell the cultist leader is going to be? That's what we need to be doing. I guess I can stop sneaking around. Like, we're done. All the people who we care are dead. Okay. Great. Easy. Simple. Okay, so there's our question mark there. It's probably not a fort, but I have no idea. Could be. Um, let's go up the hill again. I know we just climbed down, Cassandra. Sorry about that, but... Really, walking as the crow flies is usually not going to be the fastest way to go. Man, the free climb in here. I mean, she can't be hurt by fall damage anymore, so there is some benefit to that. Um, but still, free climbing seems like incredibly dangerous to me still. Not like the fate of the world is resting in her hands or anything. You should probably take as many precautions as you possibly can. Oh, yeah, it's definitely not a... No, well, there might be a military fort. We'll approach from this side, which they shouldn't be expecting. It's just a bandit camp. Yeah, we should take out the bandits, though. Bandits are usually dicks. Uh, Icarus, give me a scout party here. Alright, we've got some chests. Got some bad dudes. We've got somebody imprisoned. And that looks like it. Alright, well, I think we got to take out leader first. That's going to take my last pip of adrenaline. But doing that should alert the rest of the camp, and then, you know, we get adrenaline from battle. Let's do it. Or we just murder him entirely and no one knows. That could also be the case. His body's going to burn now. They should see... And there we go, now they're alerted. Which gave me adrenaline for some reason. They didn't see it coming. She got me a lot yet. Yeah, he didn't see it coming either. That's funny, this guy was murdered right in front of you guys. You didn't even see that. You should definitely investigate. Yeah, into the bushes. You should definitely do that. Nothing could possibly go wrong with that plan. Aside from your death. Aside from that minor, minor issue. Hey, where'd Bob go? I don't know, but I never really liked that guy. Okay, great. He just saw the body. He's gonna come over here. Someone's here! Someone oh, is here, you're right. And so the last guy is like. Well, not my problem. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me just convince you that it might be your problem. There you go. Okay. You're free! Oh, and you're untied. There you go. Oh, and then, of course, the chest, and that should finish up the area here. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought for sure we'd, that'd be a full-on battle. Expert blade, which is largely garbage. Oh, there's still a dude here. What? Hello. Stop right there. Oh. It's funny we still got the assassination off. I was sure that wasn't going to work. So the bandit camp's taken care of, right? It is. Beautiful check mark and everything. Okay, great. Could that be a fort? 
At most, it's probably a military camp, but it might still be effective in taking down... I don't know. Could we need to go back to where the leader is? Though it seems like there's got to be better ways to do that. I suppose we could go back to the fort where the leader is. That's where all the stuff of the war score is. So if we just take out those... The trouble is sneaking around. Like, I was just not good at that. But maybe we can focus on knocking down... Like, the, the nation chest and all that good stuff. Without being spotted. Like, that would definitely take down the fortifications of the area. And then the leader might leave. But the trouble is, a lot of people are guarding that fort. So we could try it. Try it. A uh, horse on this train would be bad, I think. Well, especially since we're about to climb a mountain right here. Horses are notoriously bad at climbing mountains. Oh, frickin' wolf, because of course it is. All right, wolf. We hear you. Look at that, you're dead. Hopefully that gave other wolves the notion that maybe chasing me would be a very bad notion. We have a lot of wood right now. We should probably check to see if we can upgrade the ship pretty soon. We have something like 100,000 uh, Dinara, too. Or Drachma, not Dinara. What am I talking about? Dinara, what's Dinara? I don't remember what Dinara... What game has Dinara instead of Drachma? I don't remember. Okay, well, this camp seems simple enough. Like, what, 10 guys, if that? Uh, if that, indeed. Let's see, leader up top. Yeah, there's like four guys in here. Alright, nothing to affect the war score. Basically, we just get a small experience bonus from taking this out, so what the hell. Alright, drop. And it looks like we can just jump right in here. Uh, jump right in here, that's what I meant. There you go. Okay, leader take out last because he's way up top. And let's see what we can do. This guy wandering about. I think we take out this guy over here. You're stopped. Yeah, okay, let's take out the big guy here if we can. I, don't know. I can't slip through this. I thought for sure I'd be able to. Never mind. Uh, whistle for him. Come here, buddy. Doesn't sound right. Here, boy. Here, boy. Definitely should not... Should not put a torch into dry brush like that. It's just a bad idea. Oh, uh, we have a bounty on us, apparently. Okay, this is going to be a little obvious, but fuck it. Do it anyway. You'll be an easy target. Yeah, all right. They saw me. Not surprising. Not surprising. Oh, they're strong, too. Okay, take his shield away. Okay, definitely kill the archer first. Oh, my God. Oh, do we have another... Would you put a bounty hunter on our head now? God. Freaking spearmen, man. I hate spearmen. I hate them. I hate them with the fire passion. Be on fire, please. We keep on missing. This is coming, friend. Okay, well, his head's on fire. There we go. Now he's on fire, therefore he's dead. Alright, what do you got? Oh, I need to heal. Like right now. There we go. We're good. Thank you. Oh, okay. Great dodges. Fantastic dodges. And now we have one more dude right over here. Needs to be taught. Do you even know what end of your weapon to hold? Shit, you're fast. Okay, he's going this way, and oh, okay, too far over. Well, the head strike. What do you know? Right, move this, and that should be the last guy, right? The leader. The leader didn't even pay attention. That's hilarious. All right, so we have to go get his attention. I should just knife to the throat. That always gets my attention. Uh, 
Like, he was not given. You're the worst leader ever, and I'm going to kick you off the world. Alright? Goodbye. It's not going to kill him, but it did do some major, major damage. Oh, he's going to use his arrows now? No! Get back! Alright, let's murder him. Okay, he's defending. That's fine. He can defend all he likes. Go straight. Alright, would have been more impressive if I could kick him off a cliff or something, but I'll take it. That should be it, right? We took out all the things we wanted to here. Yep, we're good. It didn't affect the... Yeah, it didn't affect the fortification at all. That's not surprising. Uh, well. If I was another fort, where would I be? I'd be up here. I'd be in the mountains. Seems like a well-fortified area. Could happen. Alright, let's try taking a horse and see what happens. So, where's my horse? Oh, right. I can't call a horse in a red area. Totally forgot about that. Go to the road and call from here. Out. Hello. Yeah, let's get out of here. It says follow road. What the hell? I'll try it. Oh, nope. Never mind. Can't follow the road. No, oh, there we go. Follow the road. Yeah. Let's see where this goes. We're going to be passing the temple where we killed the cultists. I'm hoping we just continue off in that general direction, but I don't know. This is before all roads lead to Rome, so, you know, we're not going to go to Rome anytime soon. The trouble is, of course, the horse won't necessarily... If they just fall on the road, it won't go necessarily where I want it to go, but this might still be okay. Definitely not the fastest mode of transport ever. Ah, uh, hello there, bear. Okay, we probably should have taken a left at that next junction, but to be fair, there was a bear in the way that distracted me. Uh, yeah, we should probably probably take the bridge. Okay, good. The bear is distracted by fighting a wolf, apparently. Like a bad matchup for that wolf. That'll let me go over this way. Okay, where the hell? Okay, so we just need to go through this little goat path. Assuming this goes around the mountain the proper way. Um. No, it's actually like on the mountaintop, isn't it? Okay, let's go this way then. We're now off the road. So that's not going to cause an issue. Hey, free wood. Not going to deny the greatness about free wood. Oh, we just uh, slowed down by that. Let's try this way. Looks like a dried up riverbed here. Usually not the best thing for horses, but maybe he's fine. Watch this be actually like a, a wolf den. Basically, we just brought him lunch. Uh, looks like it might actually be a cave system, so Wolfton might not be too, too far off. Tomb. Oh, it's Tomb. That's great. I can totally use another ability point. I have no idea who this guy is supposed to be, though. Europa T? Europa Lease? Europa. I don't know. Europa Los? Oh, hello. I didn't even see you there. There, now you're dead. Torch out, please. Alright, much better with torches. Okay, knock this down. Let's see. Alright, you know what? I'm tempted to look this guy up. I always like to learn more about Greek history. Let's do that. So who is this guy? Uh, let's see. Probably just do... Probably just do 
Euripides, right? We probably don't need to type in like Greek or Assassin's Creed or anything. Although my browser is taking a long time to open. Okay, who is this guy? Okay, you're you're a pilos? Sure, why not? You're a pilos. You're a pilos, according to Wikipedia. Son of Telphius, King of Messiah. Uh, let's see. He was a great warrior who led a Mycenaean contingent and fought alongside the Trojans against the Greeks in the Trojan War. Oh, that's kind of funny. There's a tomb here in Greece for basically an enemy of Greece. But okay. Okay, so this guy was a, was a hero of the Trojan War. Got it. There you go. And you're dead. Great. Well, it seems pretty straightforward thus far. No death traps or anything too wild. A couple of snakes, but you know how it goes. The floor looks like it might be weak. Like right here, it seems like if I jump on this board, we'd pretty much fall underneath. Go away, the rats. Oh, okay, that was a death trap. I'm not going to bother lighting up the braziers. I don't think it's worth it. Ah, another false wall. Go and break. Sorry, break. Well, that's the dead end. Don't go that way. That is totally a death trap. We just go along the side. Fine. That's a lot of rats. That's a disturbing number of rats. If I walked into a room in real life and saw that many rats, I'd probably walk the other direction. Cassandra, though, does not give a shit. Go ahead and loot, and then loot this. What do we got? Okay, a really cool golden spear. Can't use it yet, but almost. Let's destroy these. Did not light up the oil like I thought it was going to. Um, all right, so we can just bash it then. Thought for sure it was gonna light it up. Okay, so far so good. No snakes around. A distressing number of rats. Like, what are they feeding on all this time? That's my main question. And then just a trap. There's got to be like a false wall or something. Oh, hold on. I see it. I see it. This thing. Oh, doesn't this just take us back to where we were? Huh. Find out. No, we haven't been here yet because this isn't looted. Take that. Take those. Like, as long as we loot along our way, pretty much impossible to get lost. Oh, there's Snake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're very strong. Everyone says so. I'll pick up the torch, please. Otherwise, I can't see what I'm doing. There's another way out. Smallest snake in the world. He thinks he's gorgeous. It's not wrong. And uh, here we go. This is what I'm looking for right here. Right here. Ability point, please. So the real question is, all right, so each one of these Greek heroes, or heroes of the Trojan War, I guess, not necessarily Greek heroes, heroes of the Trojan War, were apparently all touched by the ancients. Like, they were all demigods, effectively. Now, you're, that's already, we already kind of knew that from, you know, the Tales of Homer. But, like, are they saying, like, regular people can't affect the world? Is that basically what they're going for? Scorpions. Hey, scorpions. Uh, I don't think scorpions can hurt us, right? I mean, look at our boots. Oh, uh, well, then again, our feet are exposed in these boots. There's a nice false wall right there. I don't think scorpions can hurt us. They're probably more scared of us than we are of them, right? 
funny to just die of poison right now. Oh, there they go. They're just running. All right. Run away, little guys. I'm not on fire, surprisingly. That is a lot of scorpions. Again, if I were ever to walk into a room with this many scorpions, I'd be going the other way. Um, let's just not scare them. Hey, guys. Don't step on them on her foot or anything. Just don't bother them, basically. Walk in nice and easy. Ornate mace. I kind of hate the mace moveset, but I appreciate the thought. At least it's a good bit of loot. Alright. That's pretty much it. Well, at least that's it for the... We got the ability point. I haven't actually used it yet, but we definitely should do that. More scorpions over here. No more false walls, it looks like. Well, I mean... That should be the way out, but it's not. Okay, how do we get out? Ah, maybe we just climb this. Although I don't remember seeing a part nipper area that had a missing floor. There might be like a false wall around here. Well, there's a door. Our door is just basically false walls. I mean, if you had never seen a door in your life, that's what you would think they were, right? Hey, it's a movable wall. Like, you wouldn't have a word for the word for door. Oh, just leave the snake behind. It's fine. Can't do anything to us. There's another chest. Okay, sure. Why not pick it up? Merc boots that are worse than what we're wearing. Anything wonderful inside of here? Bits of currency. About it. I mean, this is a giant pile of gold. Unfortunately, Cassandra's not willing to go through it all to find out what's actually, like, good currency of the realm. So she's just taking what looks good. She just doesn't have the time to go scouting into this. Like, she doesn't care about being rich. Uh, okay, sure. Grab it, too. What else we got? Like, there's another snake around. Like, I could not care less. But... Another door here? Yeah, door here. So this, I think, loops around. This is probably the entrance here. Uh, this is not looted, so maybe not. I seriously just... I passed this by. I passed by loot. How am I supposed to keep up my reputation of being a loot goblin when I don't actually, you know, grab all the loot? Okay, great. So that's done. Let's assign the ability point. What, you know, loads. There we go. Okay, so the DLC downloaded uh, two neat little skills here. So there's this one here. Enemies killed by assassination automatically disappear. Kind of neat. Kind of weird. I don't know what... Like, lore-wise, I'm not sure what's going on here. Like, somehow the spear taps into, like, the ancient teleportation network. And teleports away the dead body, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. I mean, there's also, like, this one. Right, the rush assassination where you just teleport yourself. Um, so there's that. And then there's also this one here, the rapid fire. Which is basically like B. Hanzo from Overwatch. If you're willing to use up all the arrows, I suppose. So those are the two abilities the DLC downloaded. I think we're going to go ahead and grab... Go ahead and grab this one. I'm not sure what's happening lore-wise, but mechanically, this is probably going to be very, very good for us. And it stops us from having to hide bodies. I mean, I've been terrible about hiding bodies in the first place, but... It's funny it's not... Not really all that lit up. I guess it's as lit up as this over here is. Yeah, it's fine. What bonuses do we get right now? Noise from movement and assassination further reduced. Enemy detection minimal at crouch. At the assassination and out of combat damage are increased. Okay, that's what I thought. Alright, well, that'll do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. This has been Assassin's Creed Odyssey on PC Universe, your PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.